Meghan Markle and Kate, the Duchess of Cambridge, have been the subject of rumors for years surrounding their friendship. Some sources claim that their friendship is just a PR stunt while others claim that they do actually like each other. But according to a new royal source, Meghan and Kate will allegedly never be best friends. The source also claimed the pair are civil but they can't be close friends because they're from two different worlds. Meghan reportedly cannot relate to how cushioned Kate's path through life has been, according to Cosmopolitan. However, she also thinks Kate has set a very high standard for Meghan. A source told Us Weekly, Meghan feels that there is a standard set very high by Kate. It's discouraging that the British public holds her up to that. Meghan has this sense of isolation being in the UK, subject to cruel British media. Her hands are tied and she isn't allowed to defend herself. It has been very difficult. Although the source claims the royal sisters-in-laws will never be best friends, they have been pictured getting along recently. Both Kate and Meghan were pictured together at Wimbledon enjoying watching a game of tennis together. Royal expert Kate Nicholl told Entertainment Tonight, We saw Kate and Meghan in the royal box getting along, chatting to each other, looking very much like friends. To have had the tennis, outing, so soon afterward, and obviously the two duchesses being so close together and so comfortable in each other's company, yes, for the time being, you're not going to be reading stories of a feud. You're going to be reading stories about how the duchesses get on and I am told that both of them are making an effort to get along. It comes as Meghan Markle has apparently lost favor with the British public after a string of controversial moves. While the Duke and Duchess of Sussex are protective of their privacy they have been dealt flack for appearing to lead a celebrity lifestyle, hanging out with famous friends and taking private jets. Now Meghan has returned to work from maternity leave, she is looking to restore her public image, a royal insider has claimed. Meghan got back to work last week and launched a charity women's wear collection after several months off looking after baby Archie. The Duchess re-entered the public eye just days after she faced fierce scrutiny for her decision to take a solo trip to New York to watch her pal Serena Williams play in the US Open final. Kate, Duchess of Cambridge, 37, is a firm favorite with royal fans and Meghan is said to be looking to her sister-in-law for help, a royal source has claimed. The insider told The Sun, she knows she needs to take radical action to get the public back on board and allow people to fall for her again just like they did when she started dating Harry. Meghan knows her reputation has taken a battering and she has made big mistakes, but she is convinced she can turn it round. The source claims Meghan has looked to her constantly graceful and elegant sister-in-law Kate for advice. Meghan Markle and Kate, the Duchess of Cambridge, are expected to represent Britain in everything they do. But there's one way in which Meghan has not truly embraced the UK. While Kate has spent her life in the UK and embraces British traditions, Meghan seems to be having a hard time embracing the UK. Despite living in the UK for the majority of the year, Meghan still chooses to use mainly international designers rather than British designers for her wardrobe choices. According to the Mail Online, more than half the 141 pieces worn by Kate so far this year have been from British designers. While only 24% of the 112 outfits worn by Meghan are from British designers. Only on two occasions has Meghan decided to wear a complete ensemble by British designers. In comparison, Kate has worn a complete British look on 14 occasions. However, the Duchess of Sussex loves Canadian and American brands as well as European shoe designers. She is also devoted to a select group of designers which includes Givenchy. Fashion stylist Susie Hassler has said it is a shame that Meghan has not truly embraced British fashion like her sister-in-law. She said, it's important for our royals to select carefully the outfits and designers they pick to wear. How lovely it would be for the new Duchess to embrace what Britain has to offer in terms of design, it would also show she's truly embraced the country too. Kate has managed to wear 51 different outfits on public engagements so far this year. Out of 141 outfits, Kate has been seen wearing 78 by British brands and designers. Only 7 outfits had no UK labels.
Meghan has worn 112 items across 34 outfits in front of the public this year. But just 27 of the items were from British designers. Meghan does not seem to choose a British designer for the main garment in her outfit too often. Susie Hassler added, There are so many incredible British designers for Meghan to champion that it's a shame the Duchess has overlooked them in favor of her American associates. The public love to see what she's wearing each time she steps out, and Meghan, as well as Kate, have the immediate sellout effect with their chosen outfits. Meghan also tends to mix her international brands with British designers. She can often be seen wearing Spanish or Italian shoes with French designer or American designer garments. It comes as Meghan has also been facing the scrutiny of other mothers and social media users since the birth of her child Archie. Just days following the birth of Archie on May 6, trolls on social media body shamed Meghan for appearing to have gained weight during pregnancy. And in July, when she turned up with Archie to cheer for Prince Harry during a charity polo match, social media users attacked Meghan for seemingly holding her baby the wrong way. 